Hi all, Tom Hurd here, and I thought I'll go ahead and help answer a very common question with P90X, and that is, what kind of equipment do I need? And as someone that lost 50 pounds I, with P90X, I can tell you that not much. It's very simple. Start out with some simple uh, equipment, such as the bands. The bands are a very easy way to start. You can find these anywhere from the beach body side to your local uh, sporting store. And these are great. Um, on P90X, Tony always has one guy on, on the set that's basically using the bands so that you can go ahead and follow that person to make sure you're doing everything correctly. And then what's going to happen is you're probably going to get to a point with the bands that, you know, I, this is great, but I do want to kind of up it. I want to have a controlled way to know, okay, I'm, am I doing 10 pounds? Am I doing 15 pounds? You know, increasing and decreasing the loop, uh, that's good, but maybe you're getting to the point where you just want more, all right? And a very easy way to do that then is to use the dumbbells. Now, I already had, or I should say my wife already had the dumbbell set because she's been a lot more active and proactive in getting shape over the years than I have been. So we had all these cute little dumbbells um, all around the house. That worked out fine. Um, she had some going up to five, eight pounds and I was using those and it got to a point where, you know, I'm doing a whole lot more than eight reps. So I went ahead and started buying some more individual dumbbell sets. And the problem is that these get real expensive real fast. I mean, basically, you're talking a dollar a pound. And if you go to the half price sports stores, maybe three quarter uh, to the dollar. It's still expensive. So I said, there's got to be a better way, uh, especially when you start getting up to 15, 20 pounds. That just gets expensive, right? So I went and I actually found in my garage, my dad had some of these old weights. Um, these are, uh, yeah, wielder, and or, or that wider. Anyway, so kind of cool idea. I can go ahead and slap on new weights as needed. So if I, uh, the problem, no, don't let the beast in. Don't let the beast. Uh, hello, Sammy. This is Sammy. He's my workout buddy, right? All right, go ahead. Um, so with these dumbbells, great idea poor execution because these have an Allen wrench that you need to have first of all take off the end put on one of the additional poundage weights put the Allen put the uh, the end back on twist it on with the Allen wrench and you know what you better get it tight because if not it's coming off falling on your foot and these ends are sharp this is just a hazard so I cannot crap right so I said that's okay um, the sporting store good store has the same idea. Hey, this looks pretty cool. As a matter of fact, this looks like what Tony uses. And I don't have the poster. Oh, but what Tony's using, you know, when he's uh, posing for P90X. And so it's like, same problem though. Uh, you go ahead and take off the end. Put on additional weight. All right, you see the problem? Tony's already on move number five, and I'm still trying to get my weight set. They ain't gonna cut it. So, I then heard about this Flectec dumbbell set from Bowflex, and these are really pretty cool. I mean, you can pretty much dial up the weight that you want just like that. So, if it's in the cradle, you just basically hit the dial, say I want, uh, particular pound in this case we'll just do five real quick and only the uh, the weight for five pounds comes out if I want to go ahead crank it up to 15 boom there's my 15 pound now I will give you one word of advice with the bow flex and that is that compared to a dumbbell that we might normally be dealing with they're significantly longer and significantly 
oh, you can't see that, significantly wider. So what happens, my funny story, is that I was super psyched to use them on my first night. We were doing upright rows, and so Tony's like, all right, get the weight. So, you know, Tony says to do it, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm, I'm in position, I'm ready, I'm psyched. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know if you can see where this is going. And so I go ahead and, yeah, I pretty much took my chin out. So, lesson learned, use them a couple times first. Don't, don't get all super psycho uh, with the weights until you're ready. All right, um, so that was my little history of, of using the weights. And um, uh, the other thing with P90X is you want to have a really good mat to work from. In this case, I have a concrete floor. Um, if you got a carpet, that's fine. But the, either, e in both cases, you probably want to get a mat for some of the plyo exercises. And the nice thing about, excuse me, Sandy. <sighs> the, the cool thing that I found from Costco was they sold these 12 or 2x2, two two, uh, <laughs> come on, the 2x2 two two, uh, squares that kind of made up a, uh, I think a 6x6 six six or 8x8 eight eight area. Anyway, I got two packages of it. And they're interlocking, three quarter thick. Um, I got a nice 12 by 12 area. Enough. I got some additional people can join me. Uh, very easy to clean, especially after sweating it up with Plylo. Um, so highly, highly recommend that type of mat system. Then maybe trying to get an individual roll up mat, which yeah. All right, let me go ahead and then slide the camera over and show you then what I did for uh, the chin-up bar and hopefully that light isn't too bright but I don't have a doorway down here if you do have a doorway then you could probably go ahead and use the P90X chin-up bar which I tell you the construction the, uh, the stability of it the three hand placement uh, that you find with that is superb I, I went to a sporting goods store couldn't find anything that matched the uh, material and they, they, they just didn't have anything. And for my needs, you know, I don't have a doorway, so I went to uh, Lowe's and got some piping. And so, all, you know, as you can tell, I just had a, a six inch or 12 inch extension, elbow, elbow joint, and then a nice long length bar, which uh, really comes in handy, gives me all three positions. And then what I do, is I have a laundry table here that I use to do the assisted chin-ups. You know, because when I started, I failed the fit test miserably. I couldn't do a single pull-up. But you know what? You you uh, you use the assisted method, uh, get through the workout, and you know what? When you're done, you might be able to then do eight or ten chin-ups by the time you're done, like I was able to. That's a pretty cool feeling when you get to that point. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, Again, very simple for the equipment. If you can go ahead and make the commitment to just go ahead and get the Bowflex uh, Select Tax from the, from the get-go, just save yourself the whole headache of going through the individual dumbbell. If you can go to Craigslist or eBay and find maybe someone that's trying to get rid of their dumbbell set and maybe they're including a stand, hey, that's a good way to go and try to find uh, dumbbells and, and the weights on the cheap.